Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So behind me is a brand new Cimarron Northstar Two Horse Gooseneck. Now, Two Horse Goosenecks, we talk about it all the time. They're such a great little setup. If you're looking for a little runaround trailer, these are fantastic. Maybe you don't want to go the bumper pull route. You prefer a gooseneck, maybe a couple different tack options. This is a really good setup. Now, unfortunately, this trailer is sold. This is an order for a customer. Longtime Cimarron customer, they were needing a little runaround trailer. So they opted for a gooseneck. We sat down with them, designed the trailer. Here we are, the finished product. So before we start walking you through it and showing you a lot of the options, let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing because I'll show you some specs on the trailer itself. Like I mentioned, two horse gooseneck, front tack room on it. It's a two, it's, excuse me, it's a four foot short wall. So you have a four foot offset on that. It has a folding rear tack. It is the standard height, seven one tall. We're 15 foot on the floor and they went a little bit wider on this trailer. They went seven six wide. So six ten is standard on Cimarron's. Then you can jump up to seven six, eight foot, eight four if you want. But a little bit extra wide trailer on this one. They did some really nice options on this trailer. I mean, this is not just a stripped down two horse gooseneck. I mean, they they definitely did some extras to it. Uh, but again, that's just based on their knowledge and experience with Cimarron's and wanting to build a very nice little using trailer. Very first thing you're, no you're going to notice is they upgraded from a manual crank jack to the equalizer electric over hydraulic. And this is awesome. Granted, this is not a big trailer, but honestly, push the button up down and this trailer goes. It's a really nice feature. It's really convenient. Um, I know sometimes you know, again, these trailers are a little bit harder to crank if you have somebody spotting you, especially when you get into, if you're, you know, running some juniors around, you got some young kids with you, as they're guiding you back, I mean, it's really easy for them to reach up and hit in the button and drop it once you're right over the ball. You know, when you do go to put it in park, if you don't set your parking brake, that truck could rock one way or the other, depending on if you're in drive or in reverse, typically is the, the what we most commonly see when you're backing up to a trailer, it does move on you. but. It, having that button to just push is fantastic. The other thing about this system, which is really nice, is it does have a manual override. So if you get in a situation where you have a dead battery, uh, emergency type situation, you can get this on or off without having to do anything. You can manually crank it. Now, if you watch a lot of our videos, one thing that we've done is, is the spare tire on our standard width trailers, those 610 wides, the spare is located up higher. That's because this footprint of a hydraulic jack is a little bit larger than the manual crank. So we usually have to relocate it. So we've actually gone in, started making them to where we are building our trailers with that spare tire up here. Cimarron has now made that standard on those. But since this is a wider trailer, we have more room. So that's why the spare is located where it's at. With that, we're gonna need a battery to operate that jack. You've got an aluminum battery box here battery disconnect as well. We were doing that uh, over time just because we don't want to accidentally leave a tack light on, drain the battery and have a dead battery when we come to hook this trailer up. That's another thing that Cimarron started making standard. They started doing that on the, on the I believe it was the 21 models, um, just because it is nice. When we park this trailer and go to walk away from it, you reach up there, you turn it off. Now we don't have to worry about a light getting left on dead battery type of a situation. So again, nice little upgrades underneath this gooseneck here. Now, as we get into this tack room, a couple things. They did the nice big wide door. So it's a 42 inch wide door right here we're looking at. Now, that's typical when we have a swing out saddle rack because we can then have the ability to swing that out. We don't have to worry about saddles dragging on door frames coming out. You can still get in and out of these. But on this setup here, they just wanted the bigger, wider opening on this. This one actually has a removable saddle post that I'll show you here in a minute. But as you can see, we have an eight foot long wall over here, so we have a lot of room. It is nice to have these bigger doors. On the door, they put the brush tray, throwing some smaller items in there. Again, that's a great place for fly sprays, liniments, brushes, hoof picks, any of those smaller items like that, you can just toss right in there. Now, as we come in here, like I mentioned, a four foot short wall, 
Again, four foot offset, so you're gonna end up with it, that eight foot long wall. So behind me is a shelf with a clothes rod on that four foot short wall. Actually, that shelf's a little bit bigger because they, they taper it to match the partition wall. This is awesome. This is a great place to put some items. It does have a nice little lip to it. There's rubber up there, so things aren't gonna shift as much. Uh, but it, it, believe me, we all understand we're all dragging a lot of stuff with us. It's nice to have some place to store items, have a place for it to, to live a little bit more organized, put items up here. You've got the clothes rod so you can hang some clothes, hop into this dressing room, change. You could also spend the night in this. Um, if you look up here in the gooseneck area, you've got two windows. I prefer that if I'm gonna sleep in one of these. I wanna be able to see out. I, I'd get a little claustrophobic if those windows weren't up there. The other thing too is you can create a cross breeze with them, which you know can help you out as far as just comfortability. Um, you can throw a big mattress up here with this being seven six wide. The other thing on Cimarron's is they're an eight two long nose. A lot of competitors will run a seven six seven eight, so it's a lot deeper. So you can again get a nice mattress up there if you want bed rolls, sleeping bags, any of those type of items up there. One of the other items. This is standard on, on this model, is the framework for an AC unit. So down the road, if they ever wanted to upgrade, they'd have to put a power package on this, uh, but that part of it's already done. It's a very small option to go ahead and have on there. Cimarron's made it standard, but believe me, it saves a lot of hassle, a lot of headache, and a lot of time and labor uh, as far as if we had to frame for this to put an actual air conditioner on here. This is the same footprint as a lot of the camper style uh, manual vents, so you could do one of those on here. Uh, there's some 12 volt uh, you know, power vents that you could put in here, but they all keep the same footprint, so that's what's really nice about that. But that part of it's already done if you ever wanted to upgrade to something like that. Now across this gooseneck drop wall, you see a 12 inch boot box, has dual access doors on it, Again, another small place to keep things organized, keep things situated when you're in transit. The other thing too is it works as a great bench if you're just hanging out in here or a step jumping up into this gooseneck. Now, if you notice on the gooseneck deck, the drop wall and then the boot box, it's carpeted. So that's a good marine grade carpet so it can get wet. Uh, you're totally fine as far as that's concerned. And then on the floor, they opted for the rubber mats. There's different options. You can do carpet on the floor. There's a new uh, gray rubber kind of tread bright or coin. There's different styles there that we've been putting on some trailers. So there's different options here, but they opt for the rubber. And then speaking of carpet, the entire partition wall is carpeted. We really like to do this. Uh, just for one, when you, as you can see these bridle hooks, we've got two rows of them, but as you start stacking and hanging stuff up in here, what we don't want is we don't want those items, especially you know your bits and those type of things, rubbing against this wall. It'd be aluminum like you see on this short wall right here. Well, it'll scuff up this wall. It creates a lot of noise. You know, think about what it does also to your tack. So, we like to carpet these walls if we can. Additional bridle hooks could be added. These are aluminum powder coated, so they're really strong and durable. This is a new design that Cimarron came out with just a couple of years ago. I really like it because these are a lot taller, they're a lot deeper off the wall, there's a little bit more spacing between them. A lot of those other older style bridle hooks, everything was really cramped and believe me, we all know that you're going to pile a whole bunch of stuff on your halters. Again, your head stalls, anything like that when you start putting them on here, it does eat up a lot of space. But those type of items could be added on. Now. Like I mentioned, this does not have a swing out saddle rack. This is actually a removable post. So this post can come out and I'll show you what the, when we get to the back of the trailer, the folding rear tack where this can go. But if you wanna keep your tack up here, your saddles, you can. If not, we can take this out and we can put it in the back. Two blanket poles, two saddle racks with it being a two horse. Those are the standard options. The nice thing about this, if they ever wanted to add additional blanket poles, additional actual saddle pads to this that could be done. You can change the configuration on how this sets up. I've seen some people take their blanket poles and put them underneath the saddle racks, um, kind of stagger them that way. We can adjust them up and down. They're very easy to adjust. You just loosen these 
nuts here, slide them where you want, tighten them up, and then you're good to go. But back in that corner is a corner water tank. That is usually a wasted space back there. Uh, it's an odd angle, so uh, High Country Plastics has built a, a corner water tank that fits in there really well. We were adding a lot of those on after the fact, and we've actually just started ordering a lot of our trailers with that, so it's already on there. It's fantastic, because it's gravity feed, it's 25 gallons, you can carry, you know, if you have that one horse that only likes water from home, you can carry that in there. You know, if you're traveling, it's nice to have some water on board. Uh, if you get to a show and or an event and the hydrant's a quarter mile away, rather than lugging those buckets, you can fill right here. Again, it's gravity feed, so you fill at the top and just take that hose and put a ball valve. I like to recommend to fill your buckets out here. Who wants to drag those in and out? Just fill up your buckets right here and then just set your hose right inside there. Last thing that you'll notice is that fold up step. I mean, this is a, this is a good eight, nine inches of a gap right there between that lower door frame and the top of this step. And from where I'm standing, I mean, that is a big, big step, especially with the uh, saddle put, the actual saddle racks inside this trailer. Now you're having to lug saddles in and you'd make, have to make that big step but by having the fold up step, it makes a world of difference actually transitioning in and out of this front tack room. This is a white sheeted trailer that is standard. You can upgrade to different colors. There is an upgrade charge to that, um, but again, white standard, charcoal metallic, black, silver metallic, champagne, those are kind of the standard as far as what's readily available. Then from there, you can go into custom colors. I think we've got a customer that's got a red trailer on order. We got another one that's got a Pepsi blue trailer on order. So we can do a lot of customization for you as well. You have a 16 inch awning light up at the top. They opted for load lights on all around this trailer that we'll show you. That's really nice to be able to have that light coverage when you're actually out here saddling, unsaddling the horses themselves. Two bus windows, since again, two horse, you're gonna have those standards. Some customers like to upgrade to the drop windows. Uh, I really like, and Cimarron does a good job on getting a large window as far as the bus windows go in that opening. You'll see some manufacturers that'll put real small bus windows on there. Well, only about half of it will open. For example, if you look at that tack door, compared to these bus windows on tail side, that is a big difference in window size and again, only half of it slides open because it is a bus window. So get a lot more airflow in the trailer, making the horses a lot more comfortable in there. So two 50, 200 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, 15 inch wheels. These are nitrogen filled tires and they are also balanced. If you need to put air to these, you're, you completely can. There's a misconception out there People think I can only put nitrogen to them. That is not the case. You can actually put air to these if need be. If you have a slow leak, something like that. Uh, but that, P that nitrogen doesn't allow PSI levels to fluctuate as drastically as air will. Think about this, they use them on airplanes. So especially the big, you know, you jump on an airplane to fly somewhere. Think about the altitude difference and the temperature difference that those tires are incurring, especially with the, those PSI levels. So we're not having to deal with that as much. Bolt-on fender, Cimarron, that's standard. So like I talked about that AC unit, from a labor standpoint, boy, do you save a lot of money with this not being a weld on. You gotta cut off the damaged one, put the new one on, re-weld it. Here, bolt on and off, it's a lot easier to you know, change out if something does happen. Now, with this trailer being extra wide, you're gonna have a little bit different door setup. 610, you're gonna end up with a 60-40 setup. With it being 7-6 wide, you're gonna get a 50-50. Same on an eight foot. Now we can go in and change that if you'd like to. If we're building you a trailer, if you wanted this to be 7-6 wide and a 60-40 setup, that could easily be done. But as you can see, as we're looking at the back here, dual 50-50 doors, left-hand doors got some bridle hooks on it because we do have this folding rear tack. I'm gonna show you how that, that breaks down, how easy that is. Also, when you're looking at our inventory, there's a lot of stuff that can be done after the fact through our parts and service department. I have to have a rear ramp. My horse only prefers that. Or my husband wants to take this hunting with his four-wheeler now and then, something along those lines. 
very simple for us to take off that rubber bumper, add a rear ramp to this trailer. We typically carry white ramps on hand, different colors, might have to be a little bit more lead time as far as ordering, about four to six weeks, nothing too crazy. Um, you could take the trailer, go use it, bring it back, whatever you want as far as that's concerned. But rubber bump, uh, that rubber bumper could come off, we could add that rear ramp, uh, hay racks could be added, a lot of different things after the fact when you're looking on our inventory. So as we get into this stall area, again, with it being a two horse, it's not a massive stall area we're looking at here, but they did a lot of extras to this trailer. Very first thing is you're gonna notice that on this one here, this is actually a stud divider. So on this model, typically you would have a standard just partial, but they wanted the stud divider, wanted pads on it as well. Anytime you can see a Cimarron in person, walk in and start putting your hands on different components throughout the trailer. And the reason why is you'll notice that nothing has a 90 degree angle, nothing's sharp edges, you know, nothing protruding out. Horse safety is first and foremost. One of the upgrades that they also made, if you look at the floor, is typically uh, rubber mats. They upgraded to worm flooring. This is a fantastic floor from the standpoint of never having to pull mats again, really easy to clean. You muck out your solids, you power wash it out. So per worm is permanent, it's unpenetrable, so we're not allowing that urine to get down there to that aluminum where it can corrode over time. That's one thing we always have to watch out with aluminum trailers. You always have to maintain them. You always have to clean them. This, boy, this helps. This is a big step we don't have to worry about now because we don't have to wrestle those mats and get them out of here. You'll notice a little bit of wheel well on passenger side. There's gonna be a little bit over on driver's side as well. That's because this trailer is seven, six wide, being a little bit wider than standard. They also went in and they did uh, triangle feeders in both stalls so that's you know these can unsnap very easily but they've got that already on this trailer and when we're talking about the flooring and talked about that worm but the flooring that Cimarron has is the best in the industry it's a 12 inch deck that locks together tongue and groove high and low and and why high and low is important is because it are multiple anchor points so that floor is not wanting to move four inch centers. That's the most important thing. If you want to tell quality of an all aluminum trailer, here's a trick. Crawl underneath and look at the floor. If you notice those I-beams that run across the trailer the entire length are spread out farther, guarantee it's a cheaper trailer. When you get in it, you can actually start stepping on it and feeling kind of some softer or weaker spots within the floor. When you step into a Cimarron, it's solid. Think about hoof size of your horse. Four inches everywhere your horse stands on this floor they're standing on a support beam you take care of this trailer it'll take care of you it'll last forever the other thing that's standard on cimarron's is this insulated roof makes a massive difference in temperature control of this actual stall area talked about the bus windows i'll show you the drop windows but this will keep the stall area about 20 percent cooler than aluminum sheeting Aluminum sheets, you come in here in the summertime, 95 degrees out here on this asphalt all day, sometimes you reach up and it'll want to kind of burn your hand. I mean, it's uncomfortable to put your hand up there. With a Cimarron, you can walk up there and touch it. It makes that much of a difference for our horses. The big thing is, is keeping our, our animals, whether it's our horses, livestock, comfortable in transit. So airflow makes a difference. That insulated roof, keeping that, the, again, this temperature controlled is, is a, big bonus there. You're also going to have two-way roof vents in here. So when you incorporate all these windows, these roof vents, we can create a lot of airflow. Again, keep it in nice and comfortable. You get the two LED lights. These are the OptiBrights. These are, this is an upgrade we like doing on our trailers. It's a big clear lens that puts out a lot of light, not a big power draw with it being LED. Um, plenty of light coverage in here. I mean, we're only dealing with the two horse, but in in these models, you get one per horse and you've got a lot of light in here. Now, we have this folding rear tack. So again, we could move that saddle rack back here if we want and just keep that as a front dressing room, keeping everything a little bit cleaner. But if you opt to say, hey, I don't really need this right now. I'd like it out of the way. I'd like, again, maybe your husband's gonna steal your, your trailer to go up to hunting camp or something like that, loading this four-wheeler. 
you need to haul maybe a mare and a foal, something along those lines where you just want to kind of get it out of the way. As you can see, it's real easy to break down, snap out of the way. What did that take? A couple seconds. Cimarron does a great job on their design, trying to make items as user-friendly as possible and easy to use. This is actually a new design that they've done. These are their AR latches that just pin high and low into the actual floor. And that's it. They used to do some spring-loaded pins. Uh, a lot of times they'd want to kind of lock down on you. You had to wiggle them. And then it's one more just item that's going to rattle and clank to where these AR latches are a lot quieter as far as that's concerned there. So again, really cool setup back there in that stall area with a lot of upgrades, especially that worm flooring that they did on there. Now, there's those drop windows I was mentioning. So we have the big bus windows, we have the insulated roof, we have the two-way roof vents, then we have these big drop windows on head side. Again, a lot of airflow through here. Commend Cimarron again for just maximizing this size, not giving up any you know, integrity as far as strength goes. And then you look at these windows. Here's another thing to look at versus the competitors. Look at the size of the framework around the window. Some competitors will literally have a window that I can put in my hand and wiggle it like this and the whole thing will shake. Imagine what would happen if your 1,000, 1,200 pound horse hit that when it's down. Very easy to break. These things are solid. They're real heavy duty. Again, this is all framework around this window. Nice solid seal to them. Welded hinges with grease certs, so they're easier to maintain. You can just put some grease to it. There's a brass rod. You can just barely see it between the two, but it's got grooves cut into it. So when you open and close this, it's gonna try to force that grease throughout that entire hinge. A lot of competitors will have a welded hinge, but there's no way to get grease to it or any lubricant. And it'll start squeaking, you gotta heat it up, you gotta try to get that, that grease in there. So a lot easier as far as this from a maintenance standpoint on these Cimarron's. Then you get the big jail bars. They fold down as well. You can get screens if you'd like, but if you need to throw a hay bag in there, throw some additional feed in their triangle feeders, uh, offer them some water, that's nice to be able to drop these down very easily. One item that Cimarron's done here really recently, above doors, so tack doors, these drop windows, you're gonna notice that there's actually a drip rail on there. So what we're trying to do and what they're trying to do is try, trying to get moisture away from the actual top of the window opening. Because what we don't want is we don't want moisture trying to get back into the trailer, mainly you know, trying to get into these door openings where it can freeze overnight and you have a hard time getting them open. That's actually an extruded piece. So it's not like they take a little piece of aluminum and put it on after the fact. They have a specific die that they have for just those doors. So that is a standard option now. Uh, as they move forward, you'll also notice there's that additional 16 inch load light on this side of the trailer. So again, lights all the way around it. Extremely well set up. All aluminum Cimarron, warranty on the trailer. You have an eight year structure warranty, three year hardware, one year no questions asked warranty on those tires. You have a blowout, you catch a nail, you catch road debris and damage the tire, they'll replace it for free within the first year. Again, unfortunately this trailer is sold, but we can build one just like it. We can build one however you want it. It's very simple to do. Give us a call on them and I'll give you the, the stock number just for reference, five in, 221-240. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron Northstar two-horse gooseneck. We do take trade-ins, so if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, financing's available, delivery is an option as well, we can help you out with all of that. Give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.